Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Airtable for marketing. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to be next to the basis, you're going to find templates. Click on it. And here, when you're going to click on the templates, you want to find marketing. And here, you're going to have option to find a social media calendar, content calendar, event planning. So you can have like multiple templates that you can use. And what I will do is that I can write here marketing and you got marketing campaign tracking. So I can like show you a few of these. So I will go with the marketing campaign tracking. Then I will go for content marketing uh, manager and strategy or yeah that would be pretty much it if you want me to show you something else about marketing what you can use let me down below in the comments so i'll click here and then what you need to do is just use template now in the moment when you're going to use template you want to add it to your workspace i'm going to add it to this one and add a base when you're going to be right here uh you're going to find like two tables here, campaigns and results. You can also see how it works here. Now what I have here, like this, close and views. Oh my God, so much stuff is popping here. So first thing first, see all campaigns. These would be like my old campaigns that I have here. So I think like a brand campaign, a drive traffic to site, like what is the goal here? And you always have to write it then you're going to have the status here and you can easily choose if it's going to be let me show you a planning or reviews published on hold or just the development then we go even further we're going to see the start and the end date it's pretty straightforward uh, platform again you like choose here and you can choose between the instagram facebook twitter print out of home then you have the creative creative means that let's say for instagram you would have a picture and when you go even further, you have a copy, right? So this is pretty straightforward and how you can do it and how you can use it. So I can have like, let's say that I'm going to start a Facebook ad and goal, I would write a goal, then status, planning, start date, end date. Then this is directly for Facebook. I can easily upload a creative here and write a copy. Then we have the sequence campaign and this is uh, like a Gantt that you have like, okay, I have a Facebook ad and here you would have records and when you actually have it. And the last thing you're going to find is review creative. Review creative is uh, by status, like what is actually happening, when it's happening and you can like review it here, like what you like, what you don't like and you can easily click here and edit it and add a comment on activity on the record. So when you go further, you're going to find also the results here. And you're going to have the ABM campaign, Instagram testing, search campaign. So these would be all uh, the data and see like how it actually doing. And then you're going to find a review all results. So you have spent impression, CPM, clicks, CPC, conversion, CPA, next step. And you can always like see how well it's doing. So you always see that this is a formula, impression, and you're gonna, you have calculations here, right? So in the moment when I'm going to change the spend, everything is going to change, right? So that's pretty much it. And this is how we can do the mar marketing campaign track. But I wanted to also show you the other things here. So I'm going to delete this one, delete the base when I'm going to click on the templates and I'm going to click on the marketing. And here I'm going to simply choose a content calendar, let's say and then 
uh, we have the social media calendar, let's say. So these two I'm going to show you. Use template. And right here when we are, so we have stay up to date with your content. That's the first view that we see on the content pipeline. Then you would find like all the things. Here, so you see the testing best practices, the name of the text on hold, and I have a headline, subheadline, then the creator who is, image, and due date. So you see record movie. In the moment when I have it by due date, it's going to everything changed. So here you have an option to choose between in progress on hold reviews planning, then channels. Again, you can choose that and edit it. And then you're going to find the results. So here in the content pipeline, you can have it by also by a workload of author. And then you're going to find in the results, you can simply see how well it's actually doing. So manage all campaign results and then you see like from Facebook or elsewhere, you see the cybersecurity trends, CPC goals, spend, channels, then you would have impressions, CPC, click CPC. Now what you can do is when you would click on automations, you can see some automations here or you can integrate it with Zapier. If you need some data from Facebook ads or Google ads, or Instagram, but here, like, this is how we can do it. Now, when we have this one, I'm going to also show you the social media calendar template. And that's the last one. So right here, skip, close, close, views, close. Now, first thing, social media calendar. I'm going to like see, okay, what needs to be done. Then I'm going to have a manage content across channels. So you're always going to see like, okay, that I need to YouTube video, a date, a status, if it's in progress, or if it's a live on hold planning, organic post, evergreen post request. Then I see the type of post, if it's an organic content, evergreen paid launch and channels, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Then you're going to find also the copy here that you can change and edit uh, then also image. So these are the things that you can do. And social media owner who is request your name and notes about posts. So this is pretty much it how we can do it. You would also find a take requests from partners. Uh, where people can like share with you their ideas and copy and everything. This is like the social media calendar is pretty great. So people can from other departments write you and share with you the stuff they want you to do. And then you're going to find also the result here. So you would see how well it's performing. You can group it. Um, So I have the product engagement rate, cost per engagement spent, if we're actually going to spend anything here. So this is how you can use it for marketing. These are just the ideas what you can do and how you can play around it. Hope I gave you a little bit of idea uh, how well you can work with it. So thank you very much guys for watching. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.